Hello, dear viewer, and welcome to Vampire Survivors on iOS. Here is a photosensitivity warning. There's a lot of bright flashing lights and stuff. Some pumping music. So hopefully <laughs> we can turn that down. Let's see. Options. Sounds and music. We'll turn that down a bit. All right, flashing VFX. I will turn that off on my end. We'll keep the classic sound effects. I do like the landscape orientation so far. There's a visible joystick for now. A little hide stage progression, I guess. Okay, okay. But yeah, if you don't know what Vampire Survivors is, the idea is kind of a reverse bullet hell, also known as a bullet heaven these days. Uh, you can check out Waterbot's channel, or Christopher Odd's channel, or Sift, S-I-F-D, hopefully I'm saying that correctly, uh, that channel for uh, lots of videos on Vampire Survivors. Uh, I'm just checking out the iOS version. Let's see how Antonio Belpaisi does. Now, this game is rated ages 12 plus for good reasons of lots of kind of pixelated blood effects popping up. The idea is you're kind of the tower or the attacker. You automatically attack, so you don't have to worry about an attack button or anything. You collect XP as you KO things. And as you level up, you can choose from your options. Like, okay, I can get another attack, a knife attack, an axe attack, or we could just level up the whip I currently have, so we'll fire a second attack. There we go. And then we'll get things that can add more damage. We can also eventually get to a point where we can evolve the weapons if we get enough of the items that combo with each other. Okay, and then there should be some things like in there as well. That looks like money, so meta progress I believe. All right. Because this is kind of a roguelike as well. And the original creator did a very good job of making sure there would kind of be like weekly updates to keep people interested. Hmm. Well, magic wand, magic wand's pretty good king bible. <laughs> it's very good. And appropriate. All right, bible. Save me from these bats. Come here. All right, we got the bible orbiting around us. It's going away, but eventually we might be able to get it to stick around forever. Forever. Now, there's a lot of little secrets and things to note about Vampire Survivors. Like, uh, some of the levels will have just, like, automatically some of the items outside of what you level up. You can still get them on the level proper. Uh, I do not know much about this level, and it's been a while since I've watched videos on Vampire Survivors in particular, and they've done a lot of updates. Also, I don't have any meta progress yet, so I'm going to be weaker than usual. Uh, we'll take another King Bible. Aha! Now we have triple Bible action. Or double Bible. Oh. It is a codex. Funny enough, uh, Christians were once known as the people of the book because they were like one of the first religious groups to really make codices, I think, or codexes. Or codex because they tried to make sure that they could use enough paper to write everything down. So they'd use both sides on paper, and then they'd bind books yeah, cheaply that way. That's what? Okay, we can go with the axe. We can go with the magic wand. Magic wand, I think, is the best one here at the moment. But the axe can become crazy. Mm, I'll go magic wand, because we are losing help. So treasure found. So this is to showcase a little bit of what you should expect from treasure chests. All right, we got a bunch of meta progress currency and a magic wand upgrade. I believe the treasure chests usually give you upgrades to things you've already got. Okay, as you can see, we're now firing off some magic wand lasers. Oh, and here's a flood of enemies. I'm gonna try to dodge a little bit. The movement does feel a bit slow, which makes sense. Uh, let's continue whipping our enemies into a submission. Okay, I'm gonna move a little bit out of it. There we go. And we got some chicken. That's right. The wonderful Castlevania wall chicken. No longer in a wall. All right. Let's get that currency. Okay, we got the currency. Okay, hold it. What do you give me? Nothing? Okay. I was hoping there'd be more health, but I am wrong. Wrong, did we wrong, wrong. So, get some more currency. 
run away a bit. And we're going to kind of want to go in a circle so that we can come back to where we've beaten up people so we can get all the way. Get some more magic wand. Spinach might be something to go for. I forget what it combos with. But yeah, normally there's kind of these passive items and then your weapons. And you're hoping to get the right ones to combo with each other. And you can figure out how those builds work as you go. Uh, let's go more Bible. More power. More Bible. Demons. Because I believe the Greek word for power. Where we get our word dynamite from. Dinamite. In the woods. Okay. So far so good. Now that is a more powerful bat with a little blue aura, I believe. We're gonna uh, take things easy. As you can see, the enemies are kind of outscaling our damage again. We need more of this XP. So I'm gonna try to keep moving in a circular formation. Alright. And is there anything in that little garden? Mm, right. Let's get some more magic wand projectiles. That's a little more damage, technically speaking. Ghosts and ghouls are attacking. That's not good for my health. Okay, more chicken. Fewer problems. Excellent. Oh, my God. Oh, I got some Okay. We'll do small steps. Oh, okay, bigger steps, bigger steps. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, the game does a very good job of keeping you invested in the time loop. And there is kind of a built-in time limit of 30 minutes per session. You can check... There's a pause here. Will it let me quit and keep your golden unlocked? So if we do quit, it looks like it doesn't save our current progress, which, you know, for a 30-minute game session that's designed to be 30 minutes, makes sense. We can still keep our meta progress stuff that we've gotten. All right, all right. But there is no pause. All right. Trying to die. Back to my XP. Okay. We can get more whip. Armor might be good. Or we can increase base damage by 10. That seems great. Because our magic wand is kind of what's keeping us going at the moment. Okay, let's go ahead and get this treasure. Alright. Will you give me more than one item this time, treasure? Looks like you might. Maybe? No? Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. Alright. And we get the whip upgrade too. The red. Experience gym is a little bit more XP. Oh, uh -oh. kind of dying a bit. Okay. Now, I'm trying to remember if we need to KO a boss or just blow up these flowers. Hmm. Prey mantis might kill me. Oh, okay. Well, not a bad thing. Kills me first. There we go. Uh, more Bible. More Bible. More damage. Hoping we get... Okay, we did enough damage. Or something. Okay, now we're getting key items. At least three. Now, we get Bible, Whip, and... Magic Wand, I believe. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. Uh, green XP might also be... Bitter, yeah, bigger and better than blue. Okay, once again, we want to go in our circles. Wax on, wax off. So for information. And there should be an item. It's like a magnet. Ah! Oh, I can move by the tree. Okay. Oh, watch an ad to revive. That's interesting. I'm going to try that out. We're going to head back in. Okay, so I get back half my health. That makes sense to me. That's a decent revival. Well, it would be nice if it was more. Oh, not going to XP. Oh, that's okay. All right then. But yeah, the slow trickle of new enemies, the powerful feeling of leveling up my collecting stuff. Yeah, it's just a very good video game move. Right. Uh, okay, I have to take something new, huh? Increase my luck for a chance to get four choices instead of just three. So. Trying to remember what thing works with what. But I think I'm just gonna go axe. 
for the singular throw barely above me and then it falls down. That's okay. I'm gonna deal damage. Alright. I also don't want to take damage. Merely failing it. So let's go here. Get some more progress before we die. Money through. Ah, okay. No. Fine. Money. Okay. So now we can get over here. Hoping that might be enough, but it's not. Okay. Oh, uh, that's another problem. Okay. Well, okay. Hmm. More Bible. That's right. Okay, sharper than a double-edged sword. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I should have gotten a shield. <laughs> so yes, new achievement: destroy twenty light sources. Okay. We got five unlocks as well. Ah. Oh, we unlocked the bracer by getting the King Bible to level four. Reach level ten to get the crown. So we got the crown now. Reach level five for some wings, which I think is the dove, which are like carpet bombs things. Survive a minute to get the heart. Destroy 20 night sources. So we got the fire wand, which is another good wand. Okay. All right, then. We can get bonus gold for watching the video. I'm not going to do that at the moment. But yeah. That's a good taste of Vampire Survivors. Hmm. Let's see what we can unlock. Yes? Anything else? Okay, survive five minutes with other characters as well. Reach level 20, and so on and so forth. Get the other things to level 4 and 9 and things like that. Okay, okay. Let's check out our collection. 9 of 128 things to collect. That sounds about right. Hmm. Where? How do I get to pay for stuff? Power up. That's got to be it. Okay, and we can refund those as well. Looks like at any time. Uh, so we can get might. It's more damage per rank. Let's get more max health. That just seems good. And some recovery on our HP. Hmm. Looks like it's 424 for the next of those. Okay. Reduce incoming damage. Ooh, 600. Hmm. Weapons faster. Okay. Doesn't look like it can really afford anything down here. Nope. Oh, and a revival. With full health, it looked like. Hmm. Well, we'll get some more might then. And then, of course, we can change that around. We can try Imelda for 10. And looks like 110 for Pascalina. Let's try Imelda. And we start with the wand this time. So that seemed like a better starting character. In general. All right. Fire at will. That's right, Bill. You bat. Okay. The bad bats are gonna fall flat. As we run around. Okay. Not getting too many of these XP drops at the moment. All right. Circular motion. That was close. <laughs> what we're gonna get here? Get some more XP. Yes, okay. Let's get. Um, let's steal Fire Wand as well. Okay. And then there we go. Yes. I think that was a good choice. I do wanna upgrade the Wand Wand at some point. But Fire Wand already deals quite a bit more damage. If we just follow it. Seems like that's not a bad move. Except it goes away. Got it. Trees block. Trees block. Mm. Yeah. You can't get too close to things, which makes sense. Alright. More projectiles or base damage up by 10. It's just really good. Fire one. Just really, really good. Okay. That would be nice. We can get some more XP a little bit faster. There we go. Alright, now we go this way. Am I getting critical hits with my fire? Huh, I wonder. Okay, maybe we will zigzag. Yes. Oh, chicken, I didn't need. Yeah. Well, mistakes may have been made. Okay. Alright, 
Uh, bracer, increased projectile speed, see? Oh, uh, spinners. We'll just take more damage. More damage. Never a bad idea. All right, then. Slowly. We'll go back for the treasure. All right, then. XP first. Okay. Uh, hmm. That's... Oh, that's bad. That's half our health. Okay. Now I wish we could have gotten that chick. Alright, what's in this treasure chest? Danger? Okay, now. Magic wand! Okay. We'll take it. And then I immediately level up again. So, more magic wands. Okay, that was almost true. So, I've got to avoid those clouds of bats at the moment. I don't have something like the King Bible. Oh, I miss you, buddy. Okay. Hmm. Racer? Character moves faster, thank you. Ah, oh, glorious. Okay. <laughs> oh, that already feels better. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I wanted that. I knew I wanted it. I just didn't realize how bad it oh. I'm probably dying soon. Hmm. Try to keep moving. Okay. Oh, that was deadly. One more coin before we die. One small. Okay, fire wand. Hmm. So I'm having trouble depending on it. Okay. I'm just gonna try to tiptoe, tiptoe. Hopefully, break that open. Okay. Yep. It did happen. Can't be disappointed about that. Okay. Can be disappointed about, you know, everything else. Okay. Let's see. That. Okay. Bible! Oh, Bible. I need you. Okay. Eventually, it will work. Okay. Oh, okay. Well. Well, I get for getting greedy with that one coin. All right. What did we get, Imelda? What did we get? Uh, looks like we reached level seven, so I think that's another unlock, right? Right? Hmm. Or is it not? Survive five minutes with Pascalina? I'm not sure I did that. No, because I didn't unlock her yet. Hmm. Okay. And then we get projectiles get faster every five levels. That's interesting. Automatically. We'll try out Pascalina too. And then, I think we'll call it an episode, dear real. But yeah, as you can tell, this is Vampires Above on iOS. Okay. And I want that XP orb. All right. Mm -hmm. No, that, that wasn't the best shot. That was a much better shot. Wonderful. Try to not die this time. Um, we'll try Santa Water just because we haven't shown that off yet. But it basically creates big old damage zones. And the more Santa Water you get, the more big damage zones get plopped in. Okay. As you can see, since it's random, it's like, eh, sometimes it's good. Most of the time, most of the time you just wish for consistency. But it's not bad. It's just not going to be great yet. I think. I can't remember if it combos with the, um, the garlic. It's something we haven't seen either. Uh, shields from damage when active. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Clearly, I have a problem with damage in this game. So we're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be real. Santa Water, I'm doing the work. But no one else can. For now. Okay, oh, let's go this way. Uh, maybe not that way, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, now we go this way, and I'm wrong. Ah, okay. Hmm. I must continue around. Going around town. Okay. Get this up here. Alright. Grab my sink of water. Mm -mm -mm. But yes, a lot of this game has to do with Castlevania references and other video game references. 
kind of kind of fun English mistakes and things. So yeah. Okay. Hmm, we could get more XP with the crown. I think we're gonna get more Laurel though. It's just a good ability to have. Avoid damage. Ah, Santa Water, you can actually paint off. What happens? Okay. Uh, I may need a chicken. Where's my chicken? Hmm. Okay. Mm, yeah, it's really hard to force an attack on any of these. Um, we'll take that and die. Alright, we reached level 4. I'll take that for now. But as you can see, Vampire Survivors. I think... Man, I feel like it might be easier to play with WASD or a controller. Hmm. Just for my own psychology, if nothing else. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed Vampire Survivors, dear viewer. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more iOS games and other gaming videos. And I hope you have a great day, dear viewer.